<laughs> hey, YouTube fam, it's Patrick. It's so good to see you today. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice and for supporting last week's session. It feels good to finally be back in the mix with y'all. Before we begin this class, make sure to hit the like button and after you finish, leave a comment below. Let me know how it felt in your body. Let's get right into it today. Go ahead and come on to hands and knees. Circle the shoulders over the wrists a few times here. Grip the ground, find a nice easy rhythm to moving yourself around in space. Trusting the push through the thumbs, the engagement through the core, and the lift through the lower belly. Let yourself wave around here. Be very animalistic in your nature. Find a nice continuous energy moving you from space to space. And let the flow navigate from north to south in your body, but also east to west. Be able to cross-reference the places you find yourself in. As you get more and more comfortable here, go ahead and find your way into plank pose, lifting the knees off the ground. Take a moment here for a little bit of engagement. It's always tough when you start with plank, kind of straight off the bat. Your body's like, wait, okay, now we're doing this. All right. And so you have to get over that little mental hurdle, but I know you can do it. Go ahead and push into the hands. Try to fill the space in between the shoulder blades and engage your core. Drive your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Bend the knees and allow yourself to move freely here. So find, you know, a good little circling of the hips side to side, getting into your side waist, side body. Feel how different angles and leverage create openings in your physicality. Once you feel good there, go ahead and return to center. Inhale, wave yourself forward into plank pose. Let's sink the breath with the movement a little bit here. Exhale, hold the plank or take a push up. On the pause, let your knees drop to the floor. Sit back to child's pose with the knees together. And then use your inhale to wave forward into plank and exhale to push back into down dog. Inhale, cruise forward into plank. Exhale, take the push up or hold. Pause, knees. Drop, sit back to child's pose. Inhale, wave forward to plank. Exhale, sweep back to dog. Two more times. Inhale, wave forward to plank. Exhale, push up. Pause, child's pose. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, push up. Pause, child's. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Take a moment and then let your knees lower to the floor. Sit back to the heels, toes tucked or untucked. Bind the hands behind the back. Chase the ground behind you. Create a little bit of space there. Open through the front body. Go ahead and release your hands. Bring your palms or fingertips flat to the floor behind your toes and then drive the shins up, opening through the front line. See if you can get long through the arms to lift through the chest. And exhale, release. Bring your hands back out to the top of the mat. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Feel the ability to grip the ground a little bit here. And then inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Roll the outer edge of left foot, inner edge of right foot. Push into the left hand, reach your right arm up to the sky. And then roll forward towards your side plank. Drive the right knee up to touch the right tricep. Let the right big toe tap behind the left knee. And then bring your right knee into the chest, stepping the foot to the top of the mat, finding your way into high lunge. Lift up into your lunge. Find some stability here. We've been moving and flowing a lot, so let this be a home base position. Work through the legs. Feel your strength. Feel your structure. Let your gaze be light. Let your body be connected. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into your downward facing dog. As you make it there, lift heels, bend knees, roll to the outer edge of right foot, inner edge of left foot. Root into the right palm, and the game is the same here. As you journey forward towards your side plank, lift your left arm up. Squeeze your left knee into the chest. Let your left knee and left tricep connect, and then step the left foot, even if it wobbles a bit, behind your right knee, push down, create some space and some opening, and then hug your left knee into the chest. Land the left big toe all the way up at the top of the mat. Rise into your high lunge. 
Stretch through the fingers. Sit deeper into the left knee. Find your breath, find your balance. Notice a consistent inhale and exhale here, really working through the feet, creating your depth, your understanding of the position. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into your downward facing dog. From here, push into the palms. Lift heels, bend knees. Let's spring the feet to the outsides of the hands. So whether you're stepping or floating, do it actively. Sit the hips low. Find your active squat. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, get longer and taller. Exhale, sit the hips down. Inhale, hands to floor, elbows bent, your vinyasa. Find a lightness and a rhythm to your flow, to the movement, and to putting all the pieces together. As you make it back into downward facing dog, lift heels, bend knees. Roll to the outer edge of left foot, inner edge of right foot. Bend the knees as you stretch the right hand up to the sky. Push the right knee into the chest as the right fo foot floats. Let the right knee touch the right tricep. And then tap the right big toe to the ground behind the left knee. Lift up just a bit here. And then pull your right knee into the chest. Land the right foot at the top of the mat. Open into your warrior two. Drive through the outer edge of the left foot. Stretch through the fingers. Engage the lower belly. Find a consistency in your position. Find a reach through the hands. And a steady gaze. Feel the energy in your legs. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into your downward facing dog. As those right toes land, roll to the outer edge of the right foot, bending both knees, taking the weight away from the right palm, and then spring forward, stretching your left hand up to the sky and driving your left knee towards your left tricep to tap. Reach your left foot behind your right knee, left big toe taps the floor, and then push your left knee into the chest. Slowly land the left foot at the top of the mat. Drop the right heel. Find your way into warrior two. Breathing into the space. Let yourself linger. Let yourself marinate. Be mindful of your energy, of the moment, and of how you feel. Begin to really tap in. Tune in. Two more breaths here. What can you do with them? Deep inhale. Long exhale. Deep inhale. Long exhale, hands to the floor, find your way into downward facing dog. Root into the palms, feel springy on those toes, lift heels, bend knees. Step or float feet to the outsides of your hands. Inhale, active squat. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, get longer and taller. Exhale, sit, your hips down. Inhale, hands to floor, elbows bent. Vinyasa. Let it be smooth, light, and connected. Whether you're stepping, floating, teleporting, you know, there's always a rhythm to everything. Continue to build into it and find your wave. Lift heels, bend knees, roll to the outer edge of your left foot, inner edge of the right foot. Bend the knees, right arm stretches the sky, right knee comes up to touch, right tricep tap, right big toe. Steps down behind the left knee to touch. Right knee drives back up into the chest. Let the right foot step to the top of the mat. This time, fine. Parjva Konasana, your side angle pose. Your left arm can be up towards the sky. It can, of course, be overhead as well. As usual in this position, what I mainly want you to focus on is side body length. Where can you find it? What helps you really trust a lift in the right side body 
and then exhale to close the left side or even spin the left rib cage up. When one thing lengthens, there must of course be a counter to it. Take one more inhale here. On the exhale, both hands to the floor. Step back into your downward facing dog. As you make it, inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Roll to the outer edge of right foot, inner edge of left, sitting your hips back in space. And then push your left knee into the chest, left knee taps, left tricep. Left big toe taps the ground behind your right knee. Left knee back up into the left tricep tap. Roll over the right toes, let the left foot land. Find your side angle pose. Inhale, lift up in space. Notice how you want to play the position. Notice where your eyes go. Can you tune in just a little bit more to the finer details of the position? You know the left knee's bent. You know you're pushing through the outer edge of the right foot. But what little detail can you tune into in this moment? How can you make this practice mean more? How can you make this pose mean more than it has previously? for you and your journey. One more inhale here. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into your downward facing dog. As you make it there, get springy on those toes. Look forward, lift heels, bend knees. Step or float feet to the outsides of your hands. As the feet land, sit your hips low, stretch the hands forward, active squat. Exhale, straighten legs, hands the heart. Inhale, reach up, get longer and taller. Exhale, sit your hips back down. Inhale, hands the floor, elbows bend, your vinyasa. Steady movement, purposeful movement, deep understanding of you, and where you're going, or you're working towards it. Not everything is perfect or ideal, but we're always part of the game. We're always working to be more present. Lift heels, bend knees, roll to the outer edge of left foot, inner edge of right foot. Sit back and then drive the right knee forward as the right foot lifts. Tap the tricep, right big toe touches the ground behind the left knee. Push the right knee into the chest. Step the right foot to the top of the mat. Open into your high lunge. Inhale, lift up. Take an inhale here. As you create the height, use your next exhale to take you across body, left elbow to outside of right knee. How can you posture this position to find stability? How can you trust the foundation? Then that allows you to move on top of it. Hold here for seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one inhale, unravel. Reach your hands up to the sky. Stretch through the fingers. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into your downward facing dog. Roll to the outer edge of right foot, inner edge of left foot. And then really get strong to the outer edge of the right foot as you swing forward to your side plank. Left knee touches, left tricep. Left big toe steps behind, open the chest. Left knee comes back forward. Look towards the top of the mat. Remember to use your right leg. Land the left foot lightly. Find your high lunge. Inhale, lift up. Get a little bit taller, stretch through the fingers. Use your inhale to create space. Use your exhale to twist. Come across body, wrapping through the right arm, spinning through your left shoulder. Find a consistency to your breath and a stability to this shape. Even if it's one that you know, doesn't work for you as well as others, just know that you're here, that you showed up for it, and that's half the battle. Hold here for five, four, three, two, on one. Inhale, unravel the twist. Get tall. Stretch your hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands 
to the floor, step back into downward facing dog. Feel strength in your feet and in your hands. Look forward, lift heels, bend knees. Step or float feet to the outsides of your pinkies. As the heels land gracefully, reach your hands forward, active squat. Exhale, straighten legs, hands the heart. Inhale, reach up, get longer and taller. Exhale, sit the hips down. Inhale, hands the floor, elbows bent, your vinyasa. Moving lightly, gracefully, and steadily from place to place. Last full round here, stick with it, you're doing phenomenal. Lift heels, bend knees, roll to the outer edge of left foot, inner edge of right foot. Drive forward to your side plank, right knee taps right tricep. Right big toe taps behind the left knee. Right knee pushes back into the chest, land the right foot at the top of the mat. Find your low lunge this time, left knee drops. Stretch your hands up towards the sky. Open the front line of the body. Breathing in here for five, four, three, two, one half splits. Two poses this time. Push your hips back in space. Get into the hamstring a little bit now that your legs are warmed up. See what that feels like. Be interested, be introspective. Be connected to your experience. Bend your right knee. Place your hands on the floor. Step back into downward facing dog. These side planks have been tough, but good news, this is the last one. Lift heels, bend knees, roll the outer edge of right foot, inner edge of left foot. You got this. Drive yourself forward into side plank. Let your left knee touch your left tricep. Left foot taps behind the right knee. Left knee drives into the chest. Let the left foot land gracefully at the top of the mat. Lower the right knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Breathe in here. Let the steadiness and the consistency of your breath form your practice. The poses are part of the experience. They're part of the presentation. And the breath supports that. It creates awareness in each place. On your exhale, push the hips back in space as you fold over a straightening left leg. Create length here, reach through the top of the skull. Feel your heart beating. Maybe feel your heart pulsing against your left leg a little bit here. You can feel that reverberating effect. It's like currency exchanging in your body, these little energetic currencies. It's kind of a nice sensation. Bend your left knee. Step back into your downward facing dock. Last journey to the top of the mat. Root into the palms. Look forward, lift heels, bend knees. Step or float feet to the outsides of your hands. Sit the hips low. Inhale, rise. Active squat. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, get taller. Exhale, sit the hips lower, find depth. Inhale, hands to the floor, elbows bent. Exhale, your vinyasa. Moving with as much freedom as you can find in your body. As you make it back into downward facing dock, push into the palms here, look towards the top of the mat. Step or float your feet through to your back. As you make your way onto your back, set your feet up. Two rounds of bridge pose today. Before we begin, bring one hand to heart, one hand to the belly. Feel the energetic bounce. And then let the tips of the fingertips touch your Achilles tendons. Drive the heels down, bridge your hips up. Keep pulling the shins underneath you. Try to get on top of the shoulders. See how that requires you to activate your glutes, your hamstrings, your legs. They're part of supporting your back bend. Don't neglect them. 
connect to them. Release. Let it go. Tap into your breath. Maybe you feel a little bit of sweat glistening off your brow. Last round, push through the feet, drive and lift the hips up. Holding for 10. You've got this, nine, eight. Keep pushing up, keep seeking space or really just seeking stability. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, release, let it go. Let your arms open up like a T, wiggle the feet wider, drop the knees to the middle. Let your back neutralize, don't feel a need or a pressure to do more or less here. Just feel the energy elevating up and down your spine or maybe the breath rebounding, bouncing between your spine and the front side of your rib cage. Tune into your imagination, make the practice mystical in its own way. Easy twist to your left, stack the knees, let yourself open up and find some softness here. Slowly twist to center and switch your side. Find the lightness to this opening. Find a calm connection to the space you're in. Where's your breath in this moment? You don't need to control it, but it's nice to be aware of it. Slowly twist back to center. Final pose of the day, Supta Paschimottanasana. So bring your knees all the way into the chest. Keep the, that as your constant. So we want to keep this compression here. And then reach your feet up and overhead. You can catch the feet if you want. This is a really nice place to be. You can push your big toe mounds into your hands. It helps you feel some tension and some stretch in the hamstring. You'd also, of course, bring the feet all the way to the floor, but notice how I'm more on the mid part of my shoulder blade as opposed to the tops of my shoulders. Just reversing the folding action, letting us linger there and recover from all the efforts that you just put forth. I always like to think of it as marinating in my own physical fortress or you know, just like building that shell around myself where I can tap in and recharge and reconnect, you know. We always have these opportunities to come into these spaces and, you know, it, it takes effort to show up, so appreciate that and then let the process continue to unfold. Take two more breaths here. See how much of the body you can fill, linger in. Thank you. 
As you exhale, release, find your way into Shavasana. As you make it there, take one last deep inhale. Get as expansive as possible, get as open as possible. And then audible exhale, let everything go, let your eyes close. Let yourself sink into a softer, more grounded space. Feel free to linger here for as long as you'd like. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me today. I look forward to sharing space with you again soon. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.